In this video, I'll be discussing another method of load balancing that's called NTH method of load balancing. So um, I'm going to create the same scenario. As you can see here, we have connection, uh, we have WAN connection from two ISPs, ISP1 and ISP2. And uh, this is the computer for the testing. Okay, uh, let's get started and start the configuration. Welcome to my channel. Before starting the video, I have a request for you guys. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and like the video. All right, so uh, let me explain you in the steps. So first step is to configure your WAN IP addresses. If you're getting static IP addresses, you can simply go ahead and add the address, uh, add the static addresses, uh, just clicking plus sign. And uh, uh, I'm using DHCP client, so I was using this DHCP client and I added these two interfaces. You can read the name WAN1 and WAN2. All right, so the second step is to add the DNS. If you guys have already added the DNS, if not, you can add here under IP DNS. And then the third step is to add the uh, uh, firewall rules. So first of all, uh, go to NAT and masquerade these both WAN for out uh, interfaces, as you see here. All right, and under Mangle rules for NTH, you will need to add four rules. Okay, so now we're going to add the mangle rules. So we will be creating four rules. Okay, let's start one by one. So the first rule uh, is going to be for the in interface. Well, all of them going to be for the in interface and we'll be selecting the LAN interface. Don't forget to make sure that you are selecting the LAN interface. If you're using a bridge interface for the multiple LAN interfaces, you should select that bridge um interface okay so i am going to select ether3 as that's going to be uh my lan interface and then uh go down and find connection state and then select new and under extra go to the fourth option maybe uh, on your router is fourth or fifth i don't know but find nth as we are going to configure nth load balancing select that and then under action go to mark connection and type here mark connection one pass through yes apply and okay so i'm not clicking okay because i have to create another rule so i'm going to do a copy of it and it will be same but under nth i'll need to select the packet 2 and then connection 2 apply and okay so i have already these two rules okay i'm going to create another rule to mark the routing okay so we'll be selecting the interface in interface and that will be the same lan interface and over here we will be marking our connection and we will select mark con one because it's the first one so we are selecting mark connection one and under actions i'll check mark routing and i'll give it a name mark route one and check that pass through apply and i'll click on copy and going to do the same i'll just change the connection name apply and okay all right so we are done with the mang rules all right so step four is to add the routes all right i'll be adding four routes okay so the first one will be the gateway of the WAN1 ISP IP address, the gateway address at my router inside. Okay, and uh, that is this at my side. Okay, so over here I will be marking 
route 1 as I created the rule in the mangle route 1 for the WAN 1. Apply and I will be creating a copy of it. And I will select mark route 2 and change the address, the gateway address of my second WAN connection. Apply and OK. OK. And then another without marking any uh, routing packet or anything just apply and OK and the second one for the second gateway all right okay so I have given these IP addresses to give you guys an example for now I'm using my home computer lab so I have only one connection and I have only one gateway address so you will need to type the correct one and then after that uh, you'll be able to that you will be able to see the load on both WAN connections and uh, you can test that by just unplug WAN 1 or WAN 2. Alright guys that's it for today if you like the video please thumbs up on this video and if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please and subscribe. Thank you so much I'll meet you in the next video bye bye.